coverage tonight. One Ukrainian exchange student at Pueblo West High School is using his experience to ask people in our area for help. And the school's journalism program helping spread the message. News Five's Natalie Chuck in studio with us tonight with the story of how two students came together to educate their peers about what's happening over there. Rob, the two students sat down for a roughly 12 minute conversation, hoping to give their fellow high schoolers a personal perspective of the dire situation in Ukraine, and they never expected the response they got. Every day inside the walls of Pueblo West High School, Ivan Kozlov sits and worries for his family back home in Ukraine. My dad voluntarily went to army to Ukrainian armed forces. My mom and my sister had to move to another city, Borispil, They've been volunteering. Unfortunately, neither of my family members have an opportunity to leave the country. The 16-year-old exchange student has been in Colorado since August, but his life here changed once Russia invaded his home country. That was devastating. That was horrible. And the first, the first thought in my head was, how is my family doing? Like, is my city okay? Are they safe? Now, Kozlov is using his fears to help find Ukrainians help in America. And sharing his story started with his classmate. So often in the media, people try to present their own story. Um, and a lot of times we need to allow the story to tell itself. Editor-in-chief of the student newspaper, Shannon Sheen, sat down with Kozlov for a raw conversation about the war from his perspective. The video now has over 1,100 views, more than 20 times the views the high school's journalism program usually gets. If we think about it, the seniors of high school today are our future. They're going to be our future generations of future people in Congress making those decisions that are going on in our world today. So it is so important that we're on top of things because I was listening to this quote from a Ukrainian man in a speech and he said something along the lines of, today it's Ukraine, tomorrow it's America. Which is exactly why Kozlov is speaking out about what he believes other countries need to do to help people like his family. Ukraine needs NATO to close airspace over Ukraine. Russia has committed multiple war crimes, including shell shelling civilian territories. Another thing that really helps Ukrainians, both military and civilians, are donations to Ukrainian National Bank, to Red Cross in Ukraine. And even after all of the destruction, Kozlov's faith in his country never wavers. The spirit of the people that defend in our land, that's what makes me happy, that's what gives hope to me. There will be a bake sale at Pueblo West High School on Tuesday. They say the proceeds will go to the Red Cross in Ukraine and RASM for Ukraine, both verified nonprofits. If you want to catch the full interview with the students, we will have the link for you up on our website, koaa.com. Rob. Natalie, thanks for that perspective.